a stray dog in a street fight basically he he was uh, attacked here and then he got a maggot wound so after the maggot wound his eyelid is completely deformed and what is happening even though this eye is functional this eye is visual but he can't completely close his eyelids so he can only move his upper eyelid to a degree even his third eyelid is not really a, a, a functional eyelid today we are basically going to recreate this eyelid and try to get this eye to a level where uh, he will be able to close the eyelids okay the main reason uh, for this why this is very difficult is because of all this scar tissue so scar tissue uh, surgeries are always tricky because scar tissue doesn't allow the wound to heal properly and it can pull off which just makes it a challenge it was reported to me by a kind of you know via network so what happened usually was like they were planning to go for a complete removal of that particular eye so i suggested them to uh, check at least once with the eye vet team at here at chembur uh, because i've had a good a very good experience with the other patients as well uh, dr kasturi had treated other patients my other patients as well so uh, they gave it a try and so he was brought here at uh, the eye vet they started with a diagnosis and everything and soon a line of treatment was followed he looks good quite good i never believed that actually this could happen because the amount of damage the amount of scar tissue and everything that was present was terrible when i first yes. uh, examined him yes. i didn't really think that this was a savable uh, situation yes. this entire area was uh, was a scar it it was actually not present this this whole entire portion was not present it was just a huge scar he's actually he has vision in this eye he is keeping it um, keeping it moist and he can close it that's a completely viable eye doesn't have any ulcers it's got vision so kudos to you yes thanks to you doctor